In this video, we're going to be finding direction angles of vectors, and we're going to do that in two examples. So our first example is that u, vector u, equals 3i plus 3j. So from what we know about finding our direction angle, we know that we can take the tangent, or that the tangent of our theta equals our b over our a. And in this case, our b is the number in front of our j, and our a is the number in front of our i. So tangent of theta equals 3 over 3, so in this case 1. So the tangent of theta equals 1. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by the inverse of tangent to make that go away. So that way we can find our theta measure. So we're going to have the tangent, inverse tangent of 1, which tells us that our theta is going to equal 45 degrees. And we're done with that problem. We can get that using our unit circle because we have radical 2 over 2 divided by radical 2 over 2, and that's how we get the 1, and that comes from the 45 degrees. So let's check this out for our second example. So let's first locate our a and our b. So we have our a value is 3 in front of the i, and our b value is the 4 in front of the j. So the tangent of theta equals 4, negative 4 rather, divided by 3. Now looking here, we can see that this actually, our theta, or a vector rather, lies in the fourth quadrant because we have to go um, over 3 and then down 4. So our vector is down here somewhere, right, in that fourth quadrant. So if we multiply both sides by the inverse of tangent, what we're going to find is that the theta we are given inverse tangent of negative four thirds, it's going to give us the reference angle, okay, approximately negative 53.13 degrees. So that's going to be this angle right here, okay, well we don't want that angle. We want our angle measured in a positive counterclockwise direction coming this way, which means, which means that in order to find our actual theta, that we're going to need to take the 360 degrees and subtract it from the absolute value of our reference angle. So we're going to have theta equals 360, subtract the absolute value of negative 53.13, which is 53.13, and we're going to see that that's going to give us 306.87 degrees as our theta. So theta equals 306.87 degrees. And now we're done. So as we look at this last problem, because our vector v was in the fourth quadrant, we were left actually finding this reference angle that whole time until we got down to the bottom. So it's important to know which quadrant your answer is in or which quadrant your vector is in. So that way you can find the correct angle. 